You know, I hear it all the time. Every day, I don't have time to make a meal. Sure you do. Don't order the pizza. You can make a delicious meal at home. It's simple, and the whole family will love it. Today, it's McCormick Bag and Season. We're doing the chicken flavor, so let's get started. Let's start by getting our vegetables ready. The mini baby carrots come in a bag in the produce section. We just rinse them, pat them dry with a paper towel, and we'll set them aside. Let's add some potatoes into the recipe. We're using the very small red boiler potatoes. We're going to slice very thin, maybe a quarter inch or less. I'll place them in a bowl. For the onion, we'll slice from the root end to the tip in half. Now we're going to leave the root end intact. We'll turn and remove the stem end and then we'll peel off the first two layers of our onion. With our onion resting on the flat side for safety, we're going to make two cuts, but not all the way through to the root end so our onion stays together. Then we'll slice into thin slices. And we'll place them in a bowl. Now we're going to use about a dozen asparagus spears in the recipe. And if you're ever wondering where you're supposed to cut your asparagus, take one, hold it by the stem and the tip, and pull down. Wherever it snaps, that's where you want to cut. We'll line up our cut asparagus with the rest of them as our gauge and make our cut. Next we're going to place our McCormick seasoning bag in a 13 by 9 baking dish. And we'll place in our carrots, our onions, our sliced potatoes, and asparagus. And we'll make a nice bed out of the vegetables. Now we're going to season our boneless skinless chicken breast with our McCormick chicken seasoning. Now make sure you do both sides and then we'll shake off the excess. And we'll place the seasoned chicken breast on top of the vegetables in the bag. Now make sure there's plenty of air in your bag before you close up the end. Twist it closed and we'll use the enclosed twist tie and we'll seal tight. Now we'll finish up by taking our paring knife and punching three to four small holes in the bag to let steam escape. Make sure when you place it in the oven, the bag doesn't touch any of the other metal racks. We'll bake it 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Boy, the whole house smells really good. Boy, it looks good too. Now that was easy. 